talented, very skilled people, and I was I was very fortunate enough and blessed enough to um, have won that election. Um, and a little bit sad too that we that we lost those two people because they would have been a, a they they would have done a lot for the organization. They would have been either one of them would have done exceptionally well in this position. But I was lucky enough to get it, and I've had one of the most amazing years of my life. I've uh, traveled, I've met so many people, um, I've made a lot of friends, and that's been an incredible experience. Um, but I've also learned an enormous amount. And so my advice to you would be to, to be open to the education that you're going to receive over the next year. Um, I know that in your head you have a lot of things that you want to accomplish, um, but don't let that get in the way of all the things that you can learn because there are a lot, you're going to get to work with a lot of talented people um, and a lot of very educated and, and people who are very willing to share that, that talent and their knowledge with you. So be open to that. That would be my advice to you. Uh, let's go over. Well, hi, everyone. My name is Jose Betancourt. Uh, I was elected last year as your national secretary. I've been in the organization since high school, uh, six years, uh, two years in the uh, FBLA in four years in PBL, and this is my last conference. As a PBL member, I will be joining the professional division. And like Spencer said, running for the position and being elected uh, to national office is quite an amazing experience. The people you will encounter, the experiences that you will overcome, the, the lessons you will learn, all will benefit you. And I, I do have to say that no matter what position you are, what your title is, you choose. I mean, you chose to fill out that application, be here today, and campaign to make a difference for the organization. Don't limit yourselves on what you can do, because the possibilities are endless. So make a difference, make an impact, and keep this organization growing. Hi everyone, my name is Brianna, uh, and I'm the Western Region Vice President. Uh, like a lot of you, uh, last year I ran an opposed. Um, at last year I ran at a post, and, um, but don't take it too easy. Actually, I stumbled during my speech at my campaign rally, so, you know, things could happen. So just um, don't take it too easy. And then I think the most important thing I've learned as your uh, national officer is being an ambassador for this organization. Um, as a national officer, you are, uh, you have to travel in the national uniforms. And I remember in, on the place when I travel in national uniforms, there are actually people sitting next to me ask me, oh, what is this organization? Why are you wearing that shirt? And as you may imagine that FBLA PBL is a very large organization, there are still a lot of people out there who have never heard of FBLA PBL. And given this great opportunity, being the national officer really gave me this chance to brand this organization that we all are proud of. And I just hope that we can bring on this crowd um, for the years to come. My name is Tanya Seardal, and I've served in the last year as your Mountain Plains Region Vice President. And um, I just an amazing opportunity. I absolutely enjoyed every minute of it. And I would say just to encourage you guys that learn from it. You know, this is, I've read a lot of books about leadership, but this is the first time that I actually got to put some of the ideas that I had in place on such a huge scale. So learn, explore. You know, it's okay to get, you know, through the part way through your, your year as officer and say, whoops, that was a bad plan, <laughs> you know? So it's okay to kind of change your gears a little bit and learn. You know, this, is, this is the best place. This is like a great place to kind of learn and, and make mistakes and grow and, challenge yourself to do even better things. And that's what employers want to see later, too. So just have, have fun, challenge yourself, and, and have a good time. Uh, my name is Courtney Sutherland. Um, I am the national treasurer this year. Um, there's a few things I want to say. First, just an add-on to what Spencer was saying in the beginning. Um, if we don't have a quorum for your voting, we actually can't even vote for your positions. So when you're campaigning and whatnot, really make sure that you're getting the members in there to vote. <laughs> That's really, really important. Um, and as far as being a national offer, officer, like they said, it's a really, really great opportunity. I'm really proud of each of you for being here. Um, and I also want you to remember that it's a huge responsibility that you're taking on, and I want you to recognize that before 
or like obviously you're already here in this position you're running, but I really want you to really think about that. And I think it would be a really good idea for um, the individuals that are elected to create a list of ideas what you have for the upcoming year to make your program of work go through <laughs> smoothly um, and a lot faster. So um, also, <coughs> we are all really open to answering any questions you have, so it would be really good if you guys would get together some questions. I mean, just take a few minutes. Um, you can ask us during the conference if you don't have any right now. So, yeah, moving on to Uzman. Hey guys, uh, I'm Uzman. I'm the Eastern Region Vice President. And I mean, like, what everyone has said has been, you know, very true. Like, everything that's, I've gone through this year and everything that's happened to me because of PBL that, you know, I can, I can vouch that it's one of the greatest experiences I've had all in my life. Um, one thing I can say, like, they said how incredible it is. One thing I can say that once you are elected, you know, um, always think about it that you were a member first. Um, so anything you do, anything, you know, like, you take on, think about it how, like, you know, how, like, local member of fuel because you are a local member first and then you know whatever your local ranks are after that. So um, you know think about it that way and um, yeah just think about like what what impact are you gonna have like how is it gonna turn out in the short term, how is it gonna turn out in the long term and you know think about it that way and um, yeah and enjoy it. It's, it's it's an awesome opportunity and um, I, like everyone said I mean it's just a mix of you know, all the emotions. All right, and I am Chris Reznicek from Nebraska. I'm national parliamentarian. Um, I guess I would have to agree with what everybody else said. I'd also <laughs> add on to that really um, cherish the time that you have together if you are elected, um, because the time together is few and far between. Um, and there's a lot of good brainstorming ideas and sharing that happens. Um, so make sure to use that time well. I'm Aaron Carroll. I serve as your Southern Region Vice President. Been in the organization for seven years, going on to my eighth now. Everything they said is again 100% <laughs> true. Um, treat this group like your family, though. If you need help, if you have ideas, if something's going on with your life, talk to us. We're here to help you, especially any of us who aren't a Region VP. Um, we will be the ones who help pick up any slack if something's going on. We're there for you to support you and make your region better and make the organization stronger. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm Jake. Uh, I'm serving as your, just finishing my term uh, as your North Central Region Vice President. Uh, I served as 2009-2010 National Parliamentarian as well. Just like Aaron, I'll be starting my eighth year next year with with the organization, um, can't say enough about it. I wouldn't be here if I if, if I didn't love it. Um, it's really hard to explain in words. I, I mean, we tried our best, but it, it, you don't. It, everyone comes in with so many ideas, and it's so easy to let things kind of just fizzle out because we don't see each other enough throughout the year. Um, and really, it's just a lot of talking, a lot of emailing, a lot of phone calls until we get annoyed at each other. We're going to do it because um, we need to make those plans come to fruition and the only way is through communication. So um, that's what, those are my words of wisdom, I guess, <laughs> to, to <laughs> hopefully our team next year, so. Um, 